Well, what's up guys, it's Euphoria here. Um, today we're going to be looking at how to make a pad sound. Okay, so first things first, let me play the sound that we're going to make. Uh, crap, no, that's not the right one. That's this one. Okay, it's a very basic sound. Um, it's just made from one sword tooth. Um, but the idea of this video is mostly just to show you, um, like, w not really what a pad is supposed to sound like because, um, obviously there's no real rule and depending on the song and stuff, um, a pad can sound good in one song and completely terrible in another and vice versa. But this is just to show you how to get that sort of pad sound where everything's sort of moving around. We can use a lot of LFOs and stuff. Okay. So, um, let's get going. So first you want to initialize your sound. Okay, and we start with a saw, which we're going to pitch down just a little bit, like minus point to 20. Um, pull the intensity down a little bit as well. And then we're going to use um, this pulse width modulation. Okay, uh, now this is intermediate, so you should know what this is, but pretty much this is just to control your pulse width and saw positions and that kind of thing. And we're going to put both of them on like that. Okay, um, these must be in full to the left hand side, and you want the pulse, pulse width. Um, no thanks, Java updater, we're good. Um, you want to put the pulse width at about, what's that, like 11 o'clock? I don't know, I'm terrible at telling the time. We want to put it about there, okay? And just turn these amps down a little bit. Now let's just quickly see what that sounds like. Okay, it's still very harsh sounding, but that's okay. Um, we want to add some, some nice filters, right? We want to use both, and I'll show you some cool tricks for getting stuff to sound, um, sound cool at the end but for now let's just key, uh, push it all up to 4 to 1 um, okay so um, what you want to do with a pad okay is have the sound moving the whole time you don't want it ever to stay exactly the same because then it's it's gonna sound harsh on your ears, especially because pads are usually like they're not short sounds. You you a pad is gonna span, you know, four bars or eight bars or whatever. And if the sound isn't moving it's gonna sound very harsh on your ears and you can achieve this in many different ways. We are going to uh use LFO six and Put this on the, c the cutoff for 4 to 1, which is on low pass 4. 4 to 2 is also on low pass 4. Um, turn the resonance down on both. These must both be up. Okay. Um, let's just keep these in the middle, actually. So they between the two. And the, the point of that is so that um, you're getting 50% of 4 to 1 and 50% of 4 to 2. And then we're going to um, use different LFOs controlling the cutoff so it's not uniform. It's sort of different every time. And we're going to make sure that um, restart is switched off. Um, so that's going to go there, like this. Okay, that's a little too much, but that's good. Okay, um, we're going to take LFO 5 and put it on here, right, like this. Push the resonance up like that, on this one a little bit, and also put five on it, like that. And then we are going to take out of our five and put it onto this rate, like this, and turn this down, okay? Um, and we're going to turn that down as well. Okay. Then we can move this over. Uh, push the crossfade up. 
on the FX filter one, we're going to put a reverb. You can obviously tweak these to how, however you want them. That's not sounding too bad. Okay, and then um, we're going to do some phase modulation as well. We'll use that for seven for that. Okay, that's that's sounding kind of nice. Um, okay, and then maybe put some a little bit on. It's kind of panning, a little bit really slow. <laughs> It's a nice sort of sound. Um, and then we also want to go into the voicing tab. Put the unison on like, like four. Put this on. Make sure that's set to chord. Right. <laughs> thing in the beginning it kind of makes the whole sound um so that's kind of it's kind of it really um maybe we'll put So you can see this there's, there's a lot that you can do. Um uh what you could also do if if you want to is um uh, put an LFO on this pulse width as well, that sort of gets a nice sound sometimes. <laughs> uh yeah, so I mean, you know, there's a lot that you can do. Um the whole idea for the pads, as I said, was to get everything moving. So, I mean, you could put an LFO. Okay, I wouldn't put it on the dry wet or on the size. Um, I'll just sort of set the reverb how you want it. Um, yeah, I suppose you could put it on the dry wet a little bit. Uh, why is this not working now? Uh, how's it? Oh, massive bug. What's up there? <laughs> there we go. Um, bugs, bugs, bugs. Um, you can put, let's put some delay on here. And then you always want to EQ a pad sound and cut off all the low end. Um, or sort of depending on what you want to do, if it's played during you know, your kick and bass and that kind of thing, then you want to cut the EQ on your pad just because you don't want it interfering. And then if it's playing by itself, you want you probably you don't want too much EQ on it. Um. Um, that is sounding pretty good. Uh, there's tons of stuff you could do to, to experiment with it. I'm just... So um, let's try this. I've never done this before, but let's see. That's kind of nice. Oh, that sounds cool. That actually sounds really cool for like a movie sequence or something like that. So I mean, as you can see, there's multiple things you can do. The whole point of the pad is to try and not keep too many things in the same place all the time, so that you get this idea of like moving around and everything's changing just a little bit. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload these one by one after each video. Okay, and then put them on my Facebook page. And then all you have to do, you have to just like the Facebook page and get the free downloads. I know it's annoying to like a Facebook page, but I never really post on it anyway. So 
all I'm asking is that you just don't like like download and then unlike the page um because these videos are going to be coming often just keep it liked so that you can download each one and then what I'm going to do is every 10 or so videos I'll upload a little pack of the whole thing so that if you only watch one video and um like say for instance you you're not really sure how to make a pad sound so you'll watch this video and then say okay well let me just download the whole pack I know how to make the other sounds but it's always good to have you know a, a bunch of different sounds so every 10 or so videos I'll upload a pack and the same story like the Facebook page and download it so um so yeah so you can check that out the link will be in the description um if you guys have any questions um, we're going to be looking at better pa pads later on, uh, like because this was just a basic sawtooth pad. I mean, it's not, there's not very much you can do. Well, there's a lot you can do with it, but it's always going to sort of sound like a sawtooth. So, um, if you want to request any sounds, uh, just leave a comment, and um, I'll be sure to look at them and get back to you. So, um, it's been Euphoria. Please like, subscribe. It means a lot and helps a lot for you to do that. And peace.